You read the title, you know what this video is about, and yes, we're actually going to discuss it. Which county of New Mexico is the best? Now, it kind of depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a desert sort of thing, Doña Ana County is probably your best bet. But if you want something with seasons, I don't know, Sandoval and Los Alamos are pretty good at... Wait, no, okay, I got the themes of the video mixed up. Uh, that's next week, guys. Today, we're gonna answer the question, did Jimmy Neutron go through seasonal rot? About two years ago, I made a video called Ranking Every Episode of Jimmy Neutron, and then I made another. Because, yeah, it was one video and then I had to split it up, and, you know, I just count it as one video, why not, right? I mentioned that season three had a drop in quality. Some agreed with me, and some definitely didn't. So now it's time to answer the question, did Jimmy Neutron go through seasonal rot with season three? My answer is yes, with an asterisk, because yeah, this may be the weakest season of Jimmy Neutron, but it still has some of the best episodes in the entire show. I mean, come on, Attack of the Twonkies, Lights, Camera, Danger, The End Men, and a lot of people seem to really like Stranded. But for every episode that's good here, we also have episodes that are like, oh, I don't know, just off the top of my head, The League of Villains, My Big Fat Spy Wedding, Crouching Jimmy Hidden Sheen, the later two and also known as the not as good Jimmy Timmy Power Hours, Vanishing Act, Who Framed Jimmy Neutron, How to Sink a Sub, El Magnifico, and Best in Show. Now, not all of these episodes are bad. In fact, I'd say half of them are about eh level. It's just that compared to the likes of season 1 and especially season 2, season 3 left a lot to be desired. I'd boil the weaker episodes down into three categories and we're gonna go over them one by one. The first one is pretty self-explanatory, it's called Too Short. This was the same problem as The Great Egg Heist, or as I like to call it, the worst episode that Jimmy Neutron ever had. Unlike a lot of shows that jump from 11 minute to 22 minute episodes, Jimmy Neutron didn't struggle at all. In fact, I actually think that, more often than not, the longer episodes are better than the short ones. The reason that these episodes worked was because they had enough material to span through the entire 22 minutes. Little to no filler, constant hilarity all throughout, and keeping true to the classic Jimmy Neutron style. Season 3 did this pretty well. Stranded, even though I'm not really big on the ending, I do say did this well. And of course, there were the aforementioned Lights, Camera, Danger, and The End Men. Jimmy Neutron actually has the opposite problem with episodes like Vanishing Act and Who Framed Jimmy Neutron. They're way too short. They rush through everything so quickly that they don't have enough time to have very interesting jokes or a good story. And again, I don't think these episodes are bad, they're just mediocre. It's not like Great Egg Heist where the story absolutely had to be long. Longer, but the pacing feels off, the jokes don't really feel that thought out, and they kind of feel like filler episodes even if Vanishing Act does some interesting things with the animation and Who Framed Jimmy Neutron has a mystery, I guess. I mean, it's really obvious what the ending is. I mean, come on. The second type of episode would be one that I call We Have a Premise, and that's about it. It's self-explanatory. The episode thinks that having a creative or interesting premise alone is enough to carry an episode. However, the episode loses any interesting touch it has when it doesn't have the writing or jokes to back it up. Some of the biggest offenders in this category would be How to Sink a Sub, The League of Villains, and Crouching Jimmy Hidden Sheen. Let's take a closer look. How to Sink a Sub is about the parents coming in to be substitute teachers. And then that's kind of it. They make them bad, and then they act bad, and then they turn them good again, and then they all get in trouble. Uh, okay. League of Villains seems to think it's putting on this big epic story, but not only does it feel overly long, probably the only time that Jimmy Neutron ever had an episode that was too long, but all it really has going for it at the end of the day are callbacks to previous episodes, and yeah, that's kinda nice, but it never really goes beyond, oh look, it's Grandma Taters, and King Goobot, and that talking baby from the Family Reunion episode. Yes, I know his name is Cousin Eddie, you can stop typing now. Some of them turn good, some of them do... things? But it's banking on the premise and the premise alone. With Crouching Jimmy Hidden Sheen, uh... With these episodes, the characterization and humor all play second fiddle to the premise of the episodes, not the story, just the premise. Yeah, it's cool to see Jimmy and Sheen in a kung fu environment. Yeah, it's cool to see all these villains again. But what else do these episodes really have to offer? With these three especially, at least for me, no matter how many times I've watched them, and that is a lot, 
I can never seem to remember anything that happens except for the odd scene here and there. And especially if they're from, say, Crouching Jimmy Hidden Sheen, that's not a good thing because that thing's just a giant mess. And now the third and final category, the one that's not only the biggest, but also the most foreboding as to what might have been. Story episodes, yeah. Jimmy Neutron wasn't just a comedy anymore, it was gonna also have some story elements and character development, and it wasn't good good at either. Now there were small moments in say Lady Sings the News that are kinda nice and further the characters, and ignoring my personal dislike for the ending of Stranded, I think that episode really did everything right. It progressed the characters, it showed them in a new light that also made it feel like they were still in character while also growing, as well as still being really funny and memorable. I point to Stranded, or at least 95% of it, and show that the writers were capable of doing really good Jimmy Neutron stories that still still fit with the show. However, there are also other episodes in season 3 that didn't exactly get it right. Those episodes would be the aforementioned League of Villains and Crouching Jimmy Hidden Sheen, but they're not alone. There's also El Magnifico, Vanishing Act, which I also talked about earlier in case you weren't listening or don't remember for whatever reason, and according to some people, King of Mars. Now, I personally think King of Mars is pretty good, but then if you ask people like, say, the other guy who runs this channel, Billy HL, he'll tell you quite the opposite. So I guess it's kind of divisive, sort of. So just for the sake of appeasing everybody, even though I'm sure this video is going to make a lot of people angry, I'm going to put it on this list. It seems like the second half of Jimmy Neutron Season 3 was trying to transition into what Season 4 would ultimately become. And for those of you who don't know, Jimmy Neutron was going to become a dramedy in Season 4. Now, they weren't going to fully commit to that style, but according to the creators and writers, they were going to put a lot more focus on serious elements and character growth. And there's nothing wrong with that except it just didn't feel like Jimmy Neutron, at least from the way they were describing it. From the sounds of it, they were going to change the tone of the show entirely, and honestly, I think that would have made a lot of people very upset. Especially with the proposed scripts that were written years later, they don't feel right at all. They felt more in line with, say, something on Wattpad or fanfiction.net. This isn't like, say, Moral Oral, where they were building up to this serious stuff throughout the entire show, or how they slowly but surely incorporated all the serious stuff they wanted to do, and then eventually at season 3 it became a more serious and down-to-earth show, for the most part it was going to be a really jarring change. But if you take a closer look at those episodes I mentioned, you can see where they're starting to practice for the upcoming fourth season. El Magnifico is about Sheen's father trying to win over his love, so he becomes a superhero and that's kind of it. Just like the We Got a Premise episodes, it feels like having that is all it really needs. Or at least, that's what it seems like at first. Because then it has some moments with Sheen and his dad, and they're not really intrusive, but they're not really good, exactly. Similar to the Cindy being jealous of Betty thing in Vanishing Act, or Sheen trying to win over Libby, again, in Crouching Jimmy Hidden Sheen. The problem with the way that they write their drama and character development, at least in these episodes, is that it's flat. Stranded had character. Stranded had emotion and depth. These all just feel like they're trying to hit notes or check off boxes on a checklist to make sure that they can either win an award or get ready to write a dramedy. And when those elements start popping up with little transition and barely anything to make them interesting, it serves as a detriment to the season they appear in. And since for the most part they all appear in season 3, that's why I have to say that it's the least good out of all the Jimmy Neutron seasons. But that's not to say it's bad. Half of these are great. And if you don't believe me, check out our old every episode of Jimmy Neutron ranked video. Jimmy Neutron is my favorite Nicktoon of all time, yes. Even more than say Spongebob Squarepants or Avatar The Last Airbender. It's just that good to me and I love it so much much. And again, I don't hate season 3. I don't even think it's bad. But out of everything in the main show, not including the Chrysler commercial, the movie, or the spin-off, this is the lowest point. But who can really blame them? 
As good of a show Jimmy Neutron was, the episode ideas couldn't last forever. The showrunners and writers and basically everyone behind the show had to run out of ideas at some point, so they probably did what every show does when they hit this point. They go ahead with filler episodes that they don't put all that much effort into, or they try something really new and really unique so that they can shake things up. Jimmy Neutron tried both. There are simple quote unquote nothing burger episodes that don't really have much to them, but then on the other hand there are episodes that are a bit too unique and try too hard to shake the show's formula up and they don't succeed because the writers aren't able to pull off what they want to do. But since I've just taken a lot of pot shots at season 3, let me tell you some of the things it did well. When they had big stories that warranted being big, and had premises that they put actual meat into, then they turned out really well. Attack of the Twonkies is a fun throwback to old sci-fi tropes and stuff, but it also has an engaging premise with a lot of creativity. Plus, it's a pretty good episode for Sheen, where he goes through some surprising self-confidence issues. Lights, camera, danger, that thing's a riot. Plus, it spawned that croissant meme. Who's your mommy is just so wonderfully bizarre. Jimmy goes to college while not necessarily the best episode, is an example of doing things differently from the rest of the show and trying new outlets and doing it well. There's enough interesting humor, there's enough story, and there's enough character development to make this thing work. And it doesn't lose sight of what it's supposed to be. Carl Weezer boy genius? That thing? Oh, it's just beautiful. Who wants veg brownies? Plain or with nuts? Nuts? No! <laughs> and there are so many more. Honestly, I could go on and on about these episodes, but I've already done that before. Now I may as well go and wrap things up. Even amazing shows like Jimmy Neutron couldn't be perfect from beginning to end. In a weird way, I'm kind of glad that it got cut off at season 3. Who knows what season 4 could have brought. Well, I know, and... It doesn't seem very good. So did Jimmy Neutron experience seasonal rot? Yes, but not that bad. Kind of like this little bit of a moldy spot where if you cut it off, it'd still be perfectly fine. But still, there is rot nonetheless. Well, folks, thanks for watching the video. What'd you guys think? What's your favorite and least favorite episode of Jimmy Neutron Season 3? Do you agree with me in saying that it had a decline in quality? even though it's not really bad. Comment below and let us know because we're always excited to hear what you guys have to say. Real quick, I'd like to thank our Patreon executive producers, Leaf Razor, Volcaria, Whoopdoo, MD the Dude, Blackjack, Nightingale Wednesday Nightmare, Unkale, Manny Paredes, Edward Haas, and H.R. Hoffman. If you too would like your name read at the end of every Media Mementos video, then consider donating to our Patreon, which has a link in the description below. It also has the Patreon raffle, which, for those of you who don't know, is the only way we take requests. So, now it's time for the comment of the day, beautiful friends, and today's comment of the day goes to Chico FNAF. As someone that loves Domino's Pizza, yes, I like their pizzas, fight me, I actually never heard of a second Domino's mascot. I just only knew about the Noid because of Electric Dragon 505 slash Animat's animation look back, the best of stop motion, on where he gave a segment to Will Vinton stop motion, may he rest in peace. And honestly, the way they made Bad Andy does feel more like, meh, just another forgettable mascot that just came and went and tried to be funny, which of course, it wasn't. It was an interesting look to another food mascot, like last time with Jackbox. Good luck with any future video! Thank you so much, Chico, and, well, first off, honestly, I kind of agree with you. I like current Domino's Pizza. I don't know if they changed the recipe or something, but I kind of like it now. It's cheap, it's good, and they have good delivery, I assume, because I've actually never used delivery. But that's at least what I hear. Plus, there's one not too far away from my apartment, so it's pretty convenient. But you don't want to hear about that. Yeah, Bad Andy was kind of a mess. He just came and went, and I really don't know how they thought he would have been popular, but I guess they did. Good for them, that move made them lose 2% of their revenue, yay! And it seems like a lot of you guys liked the Jackbox and Bad Andy videos, so you know what? I'm gonna make the announcement right now. Billy and I had been talking about this for a little bit, especially after Bad Andy got posted. Since you guys really seem to like these ad campaign videos and mascot videos, we're gonna start doing them more often, so that's something to look forward to, right? You really seem to like them, so we're gonna make some tweaks to our schedule and see what we can do. But that's a story for another day, and in the meantime, thanks for watching, folks, and we'll see you guys next time. And next time's not a mascot video, just in case you're wondering. I actually don't know what it is, so that'll be fun to find out, right?